Okay, um, here we are at Roasters. Uh, I wonder if my coffee is ready. I'm going to walk over here and um, get my usual. Yes, please. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm switching it up a little bit today. Say hi, you're on Periscope. Hello. <laughs> Getting a, an Americano, but this time not with ice because it's getting a little chilly outside. And um, thank you. Oops, I guess I should pay for this before I walk away. Oh, wait, let me go get my wallet. You know what? Don't even worry about it. You're good. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Wow, that was awesome. I just got hashtag free coffee today at Roasters. So we are here at, at Roasters with the Roasters crew. Um, can we get a shot of the Roasters cup? Um, and we support local business. So Roasters is a locally owned and operated coffee shop. So this is where we like to, um, to have our, our planning meetings. And I'm here with Sean this morning. So a um, little bit of backlight there. Hey. Hey, um, So let me go ahead and turn this camera around. Uh, so here I am. Hey, it's me, guys, again, Crystal, this morning. So um, if you want more information about me, I'm not going to be on here talking about myself a whole bunch, but um, you can go over to my website, crystalwillingham.com, and you can learn all about me. So what we're here this morning to do um, is uh, do some planning for the Holistic Expo that's going to be coming up in May. And, um, and so we're over here at Roasters, like I said, in Kennewick, and there was a big buzz last week about Caitlyn Jenner being cited at Starbucks. I love Caitlyn Jenner. I wish that she would show up here. I love anybody who is stepping into their authenticity in this lifetime. Life is too short to be fake and to be uh, listening to other people's judgments about who you are and, and, and what you can do and what you can't do. So... Kudos to you, Caitlin. If you're listening to this, please come to Roasters in Kennewick and visit us and let me know you're coming so I can come have coffee with you, girl, because you're fabulous. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to uh, come over here and then Sean and I are going to share a little bit about what we are what we got going on. And, oh, crap. Okay, backlight. So, anyway, here we are. Um, again, we are working on the Holistic Health and Harmony Expo. And um, yeah, you look good, dude. <laughs> the uh, the show is uh, is planned for May sixth and seventh uh, of two thousand sixteen, and so we are in the process of getting vendors signed up. We are looking for sponsors. We are looking for people who want to come and speak at this event and share your wisdom, knowledge, and you know, general awesomeness with our community. Share your awesomeness. That's right. Um, that's right. That's okay, so love. can I jump in real quick? Absolutely. So here's the deal. The the event is May 6th and 7th next year, 2016. And we're pre-planning right now. We're getting, for those of you that are in the whole health, wellness industries, industry, anybody that, if, if any of your clients, your customers, um, anybody that you serve and service and work with, if it has to do with health, if it has to do with um, uh, healing and, and nurturing of the body, of the soul, of the spirit, of the mind, then you want to be at this event. It's going to be a great event. We're going to pack it full of people throughout the region, not just the Tri-Cities, but we're, we're attempting to bring folks in from, um, obviously, from uh, Oregon, from Eastern Oregon, from down in Wenatchee, from Spokane, from all over. So we want this to be a regional event. It's the second year that we're doing it. We had a tremendous uh, uh, tremendous response the first year, so we know this year is going to be big. Um, so first and foremost, so if your clients are those that, if you serve anybody and work with anybody in the whole health, nutrition, fitness, um, holistic health, um, medicinal health, right? Medi oh. Medicinal health, mm -hmm. any of those kind of fields, you definitely want to have a presence at this event because your people are going to be there, um, number one. Number two, um, we have limited number of vendor space. Unfortunately, we booked from last previous years, we booked the same event, which is great for us, but at the same time, it limits our capacity. So you're going to want to jump on quickly. And the forms to sign up to get your booth, to get your space, are on the website. So check it out. Download the letter, I believe it is. And in that letter, there's an application so you can plug right in and get whichever spot you want. Get your spots because it's the first come, first serve 
in terms of reservations for your spots. So if you're like me, you want to maximize your, your placement. All places are good because of just the size of the venue, but you know, there's certain places that are better than others uh, for certain people. So anyways, point is move quick, get on there. Since the urgency, you want to get that now. Next month in November, it's the end of October already. November, we're going to be pushing very heavily to get those spaces reserved. And we were hoping to get those reserved by the end of this year. So you better move quick on that if you're if you're wanting to have a presence there. And um, there's different size booths to fit your budget. So it's going to be a great event. We're looking forward to having you on board. And here's another opportunity. For those of you that have something to contribute by way of speaking, there's opportunities to speak. And so you can get in front of your audience and spend some time. You can either promote a product. Now, we don't want too heavy of just pure promotion, right? Because people aren't going to stay and listen. But what you can do is talk a little bit about how your healing process or your your uh, service or whatever it is you have uh, benefits other people in mass. And it, it gives you an opportunity to showcase a little bit about what you do, uh, where you're from, your core story if you're a business owner. And um, it gets you in front of your audience, not just as a promoter, as a, a seller, but as an authority in the industry. And that's really the marketing position that you want to have for your business, right? That's uh, that's that's the best position to sell from if you're going to be in sales at all, so the services or products, etc. So lots of opportunity, real exciting time. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic event. It's the week before Mother's Day, so spring is in the air. There's a lot of vibrancy, a lot of excitement. Uh, just before graduation, you know that the, that whole time in May is a great time. People are starting to come outside. They're, they're shaking off the cold of the winter, and uh, they're getting ready to get back outside, get fit, get healthy, and be out in the sunshine. So. We want you to join us at this event. It's going to be a great event. You're going to have a great time. You're going to be in front of a lot of your customers, your clients, and your potential clients. So you're going to get a lot of traffic coming by your vendor, your booth, and coming to spend some time with you. So get signed up quickly. Go to the go to the website. If you're not on the website now, the website it's, is... It's uh, createyourvibrantlifestyle.com, or you can go to crystalwillingham.com. Either one, you can get to the website uh, through the link on my, uh, on my, my website. Um, also, just wanted to also mention really quickly that um, we're doing a lot of pre-promotional um, effort here. We're going to use um, heavily on social media, um, lots of Facebook video. We're going to be doing a lot of video, so um, we really want people to to have some advanced understanding of who you are, uh, why you're being involved in this, uh, what value you're bringing to them. And, um, and so we want to talk about that well in advance of the show uh, so that people really know and that we have the, a, a really huge turnout. Um, we were able to really have a very highly targeted audience last year. Um, we got a lot of really great feedback from the vendors um, last year saying that their audience, the people that were coming to the show, were really interested in what they had to offer. So anyway, we're going to get started working on our planning and we're going to get off of Periscope for a little while. But... Uh, Definitely hit up the website if you need more information. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook, wherever. I'm on Instagram. So wherever you are, that's where I am. So see you later. <laughs>